this is your love reading for the end of December. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Since this is a love reading, I do recommend checking your Moon and Venus signs as well as they may resonate better for you in a love reading than your Sun sign. As always, this isn't going to resonate for every Aquarius out there. It's not possible. You're not all living the same lives. If it doesn't resonate, check your other readings or check one, one of the other awesome readers on here. Thank you to everyone who's recently subscribed. If you haven't yet, it would be awesome if you did. And click the notification bell as well because I do go live and do free personal readings. It's just one question, but it is free. So go ahead and do it, guys. I'd love to have you. All right. So the overall energy for me as a reader is always the person I'm reading for, whether that's you, Aquarius, or you, Crosswatcher. Um, whoever's watching this video is the overall energy for the reading, right? Everything else here is interchangeable. It can be for you or the person or persons that you're dealing with, okay? All right. Overall, you guys have miracles out of the Magdalene Oracle. And then I will uh, move on to the regular tarot as soon as I explain this one to you, okay? Miracles. Your determination, commitment, and perseverance is about to pay off, and all you have worked for, worked towards will soon manifest. It will soon be time to celebrate your achievements. However, your caution not to get too elated. Thank the universe for all you achieve and keep focused. Do not lose sight of your original purpose and intention. Keep in mind that all you do should not only serve you, but also those around you. In doing this, the universe will continue to guide you and offer its assistance. Visualize your work and influence reaching larger numbers of people. Imagine this happening with ease and only in ways that make you feel comfortable. It takes no more effort to think big than to think small and remember that a miracle is always possible no matter what situation you find yourself in. Nice, okay. All right, so that being said, you guys have strength reversed as your overall energy, so you probably are feeling low on confidence like you don't have strength to do something you just kind of not in your power um you know here let's move some shit out of the way here let's clarify what is the strength about it's it's leo energy but since it is your overall energy i don't think that the sign's really relevant if you do cool whatever clarify strength reverse for aquarius hermit reverse Ah. Oh. Okay, Virgo energy, again, it doesn't have to mean anything because it's your overall energy, but you are maybe coming out of a period of isolation, but you're feeling kind of weak, like you want to come out of isolation, but you don't feel strong enough. Do you know what I mean? Um, and let me just say right, right from the door, you have one, two, three, four, five, Five out of your seven cards so far are major arcana, so this is a big deal um, end of December for you. It's it's a really big week. You probably have a lot of shit going on, um, and it may just be, you know, you have to come out of isolation because you have people to visit, you know, the holidays and shit, and you just are not feeling it, all right? Now, in your recent past, you have the Hermit Upright. You have the Hermit twice in a row, so... In your recent past, you were hiding out, you know, doing whatever, processing, probably a lot of self-care, a lot of thinking, a lot of going within um, because of whatever, whatever reason in love. And now you're coming out of that period, but you still feel like you don't have the confidence to. I'm going to clarify that again in your overall. Clarify the Hermit Reverse for... Aquarius overall. Oh, five of pentacles. That's rejection. It's abandonment. It's being left out in the cold. It is a breakup card. So you may have, you know, been hiding out for a while after a breakup. And now you're kind of coming out of that period of closing yourself off but you're still feeling that lack of self-esteem that rejection that abandonment to hear the baby in the background <laughs> my daughter's doing a photo shoot in the other room with the baby and I can hear him he's cute I think it's the boy 
anyway. Um, anyway, it's, it's coming out of an energy of feeling real shitty. Either you broke up with someone or they broke up with you recently and it had you hiding out, you know, really just not wanting to deal with anyone and you're coming out of that now probably because you have to because it's the holidays but you probably don't want to you know what I mean you're probably like no just leave me alone just let me hide in my fucking bedroom don't talk to me <laughs> all right you're present you have the hangman reverse again um that's there's there's a need to see a situation from a different perspective and it's not happening um you may need to just look at things a little different you know every time that something happens in our life where it feels like we're being abandoned or rejected whatever um try to see it i know it's hard to do in the moment but try to see the benefits of it right because if something didn't work out, it was for a reason, right? Obviously, like if it was a healthy relationship, if everything was great, it would have worked out. So there's a reason it didn't. You have to find that reason, you know, go off and gain your enlightenment, whatever. Look at it from a different angle, like, like it's a blessing, right? Clarify the hangman for Aquarius. Clarify the hangman for Aquarius. Sorry about that, guys. Let's clarify the hangman. Clarify the hangman for Aquarius. Oh, yep. Two of Wands, Crossroads, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So in order to figure out which direction you need to go now, you really have to look at it from every angle, from every perspective. You know, take that time and process, you know? All right, let's clarify the Two of Wands on the left. Clarify the two of wands on the right. Oh, okay. So you have two paths here, two, you know, ways you could go with this situation. On the left, you have the Knight of Swords reverse. This is air energy. So this is yours as well as Gemini and Libra. It doesn't mean that this is you taking on this energy. It's just, you know what I mean? It's air energy. Um, so the one path is you can cut someone off. You can just basically have no communication with them whatsoever. Um, right? And the other path you hear, you have the lovers here. This is Gemini energy if you're dealing with a Gemini. Um, so you can either go the direction of this <laughs> harsh communication or zero communication, you know, or just really shitty critical judgmental communication or you can go this other path which will eventually lead you to this divine connection obviously that's the way that you'd want to go right all right in your immediate future you have the high priest this is the hierophant this is taurus energy if that means anything to you it doesn't have to um, that is a lack of commitment though, and if there is a commitment in the immediate future, it's not going to be conventional. Um, you may have like conflicting religious beliefs with someone too, like cultural beliefs, whatever. Keep an eye on that. Make sure that you are in touch with yourself spiritually. Make sure that you're not having issues where like, you know, your inner world and the outer world are not in harmony. Make sure that you are connected to your spiritual self, whatever that means in your world. All right, let's clarify the High Priest for Aquarius. Eight of Cups, reverse. Um, that's a not walking away from something. It's Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but it's an energy of not walking away from something that isn't a genuine commitment anyway. So, guys... If somebody has you feeling rejected, abandoned, and has your self-esteem like low as fuck, you have to find out why you want to stay in that type of situation. You really do. You have to go within and figure out what it is in you that makes you feel like that's all you're worth. Do you know what I mean? Because to want to stay in that type of situation 
then it's a self-worth problem. It's a self-esteem problem, okay? So figure out what that is in your world so that you don't feel the need to stay in a relationship that sucks, okay? And your potential obstacle, the Six of Swords reversed. It's a, it's a not wanting to leave a situation that's difficult. It's trying to stay in something that's challenging and difficult and miserable and all you guys do is argue. It just feels like challenges and tests after tests, but you're not wanting to leave or they're not. <clears throat> you need to figure out why that is, okay? Or if this isn't you doing this, it's, man, you have an ex that just won't leave you the fuck alone. All right, clarify the Six of Swords reverse for Aquarius. Four of Wands reverse. Yeah, there's no stability. Um, it, it's, there's no stability in this. It, if it's an actual marriage, it's a breakup. Um, there's no real commitment. There's, there's not a stable foundation. It's very, very unstable, very uncommitted, all right? Um, and somebody is still trying to hold on to it, whether it's you or them. I'm not sure, but somebody really is. All right, your advice. King of Pentacles reverse. Um, get yourself stable on your own, by yourself, all right? Once you get stable, once you get grounded, um, you're not going to want to be in a shitty relationship anymore. Get out there and ground yourself. Get out there and focus on yourself, your money, your job, your career, all that good shit that makes you feel like you have the power to be single, you know? All right, clarify the King of Pentacles for Aquarius. Four of Swords, yeah, time out, guys. You have, to take, you have to take a time out, you have to heal, you have to, it's necessary in order to get yourself back in balance, get yourself stable. I keep saying, I feel like I've said stable like 80 times in your reading, <laughs> but it is what it is. There's something in here that you need to heal from in order that you can feel like a stable human on your own and you don't feel the need to hold on to a relationship that sucks and makes you feel like shit, okay? All right, take care, Aquarius.